John, I wanted to get your response to the reports that are coming out uh, about uh, people saying that you were offered a, a spot to in Ward's camp or offered to train him. Can you clear all that up for me? Well, it's true. I was offered. This, I, I, I was here. The thing I was offered a, a deal, and uh, you know, in the end, I didn't take it. I, I have loyalty to my to my fighter, and. Um, so, you know, I, I stayed here. But I, 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 I'm honest with people, I'll tell you this, I'll be honest. If they had gave me four knocks, I would have went. I would have hey, I'd, I'd been there, but they didn't, they didn't give me that. So, um, you know, but my loyalty to my fighter, uh, I, I was with him before we was champion. We, 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 we won the title together, and we've had a good, we've had a good run. And I want to see him win this title back. So, in the end, I, you know, my loyalty won out, won over everything else. Uh, but let the fans know, the, the, the rumor was I reached out to them. I would never do that. They reached out to me, and the, f the funny thing is, they, they asked me, please don't say anything about this, or they deny it. But when in fact, now they try to throw me under the bus. And other saying, I'm saying I'm the one who reached out to them. I would never do that. You know, that's not my. That's just not my way and not my style. In the end, I proved my point because I stayed with my fighter. I stayed loyal to my fighter, and I'm here. Um, but yeah, initially they, they came to me with an offer to switch camps. Do you think that was done on purpose? The the whole them telling you don't say anything, and then they put it out there to kind of create some dissent? Oh, no, I think if I had signed the, if I had signed the deal with him, well, yeah. then it, it, would been, <laughs> it would have been a problem. Yeah. Um, it's just, I just sit back and I'm laughing now because I'm saying, you know, they, they say, please, don't, don't mention this. And then they try to throw me in the bus and say, I reached out to them. Because it's all gamesmanship now. Now they're trying to get inside Sergey's head and say, look, your trainer didn't want to be with you. Because now they're, from what I heard, I haven't read the article, but they were saying like America, you know, the Americans and the Russians and all this crap. Well, here's, here's my, my theory with that. I'm a black man in America. I could walk down the street and get shot by a cop. So how much do I really trust America and being American? And, and I can get shot. My kids can get shot. I train, I train fighters not because of where they're from, where they grew up. I train fighters if they're good or not. Sergey's so a very hell of a fighter. And we got together and we, and we, and we, we jail well in the ring. So we work, you know. Uh, doesn't matter where you're from. I don't, I don't look at if you're from America or if you're from Saudi Arabia or Mexico or wherever. I don't care about that. If you can fight, you can fight. If I, I think you got potential to be a good fighter, I want to help you get there. So, you know, now they're, not, now they're using um, this America-Russia thing. You know, I, I have no problem with that. I know, you know, what the deal is. Who was the one that reached out to you for the deal? I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not going to do what they did to me. I'm not going to throw them under the bus. Yeah. I'm just going to say, hey, they initiated the whole... So they, they called you out of nowhere and uh, said, like, hey, do you want to... Like, what did they ask, like, in specific... Uh, well, kind of got around to, you know, uh, would you be interested in, in, uh, in uh, training uh, Andre for, for, the, for, the, for the rematch? And, then, you know, first I kind of I kind of yeah, hesitated. I say, like, uh, what I the? I you know. Yeah. So, you know, my, my, listen, if anybody knows me, my, my, my question is how much? Because <laughs> <laughs> it, it has to be worth my while yeah. to leave this young man, um, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting my throat, first of all, if I do that, you know. But, like I say, uh, the, the conversation ended and we hung up and I thought more, the more I thought about it, the more I said no. Even though I, I said how much, it didn't make sense. You know, it didn't make, it, I appreciate the offer. I appreciate the fact that, that you wanted my services because you, you thought I was that important to help you in the second fight. But it just was something that just wasn't right and just the timing wasn't right and it just wasn't meant to be. Was it something where you would be helping Virgil or you would go ahead and, and replace Virgil? Um, no, no, I, I would help him. No, so I, I, I think the bond between Virgil and, 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 and Ward is a strong bond. You know, just, they, they've been together forever. And it, it would be foolish, and I, and I said this before, after the first fight, it would be foolish for him to, to leave Virgil now because they, they, they know each other well. And it's for him to get somebody else. And, and if, it's not, if it's not broken, don't, don't try to fix it. And they, have, they, they have good chemistry together. I think it was more of a fact that I, I could help them. Think about it. Who knows, who knows so good better than me as far as his weaknesses, his strengths in the ring, what he does. I've been with him for, you know, years. And uh, I, th I think, you know, they want that input, basically. Because that, that would help him tremendously, but you know, in, in the end, loyalty outweighed everything else. And I said, you know, I'm gonna stick with my guy. How long ago was that when they called you? Man, it's, it's been a while. Uh, this is long before the negotiations even, even took off. Uh, I'm gonna say, I want to say like January. January. Right, Jan yeah, yeah. Uh, I, if I would have gotten that phone call, I would have been like, are you kidding? Like, get out of here. Like, you got to be joking or something. Yeah, listen, my first question, how much, you know, listen. <laughs> yeah, how much you, you know, you, you know, four knocks, let's go to work. <laughs>
<laughs> is it something that you would be open to in the future if they came back to you after yeah, this they, fight? They won't come out. Trust me. They they won't come out after this, after this listen, it, 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 it was something that, that would have worked, you know, in different circumstances. But um, in the end, you know, this the, the, to stay with Sergey was the right move and the right decision to make. You know, like I said, I've been with him from day one as far as him before on the title. And, you know, change to Stris Camp now would be a, really wouldn't be the right thing to do. Even, even if the money was there, you know, that I wanted, um, still, in the end, it still wouldn't be the right thing to do. Because I want to see this thing through with he and I. How much money is Fort Knox? <laughs> how much would it, like, if you were to put a price on it, how much would you have been like, okay, that makes sense? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you, man, but it, 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 it'd have been nice. More than a million. It'd have been nice to the change. It'd have been, well, listen. I'm never going to get to that. It, it, it would have been a nice piece of change. It would have been a nice piece of change. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, John. Well, I'm glad you were able to clear that up with us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Here with John David Jackson, Marcos Villegas, Fight Up TV.